Welcome back to my channel and to another video. I hope you're doing great. So today we are doing another dose of buy this, not that kind of video. I know you love them and it's been a long time coming. I have here a lot of summer fragrances that you might debate on getting. So I'm gonna show you a better and cheaper option. Also, I do have some slightly heavier scents, but I wanted to include them here now because otherwise I'll just forget. So I hope it is okay with you. I did my best this time to not only give you a better option per se, but also give you a cheaper option of a very expensive fragrance. So yes, I hope you really enjoy it and let's jump straight into it, but subscribe first, of course. And let's start with two fragrances that I have one cheap alternative for. And that is first Guerlain Santal Royale, which is a beautiful sandalwood rosewood combination. And another one is Armani Privé Rose d'Arabi. I'm not saying these two fragrances are the same or even that similar, but I have an alternative that kind of combines both of them together and gives you a gorgeous, gorgeous scent, which I have talked a lot about on my channel, but never really made a proper comparison. So the fragrance that I recommend way over those two, Armani and Guerlain, is from Swiss Arabian and it is Ser Achela. I did have a full bottle of it. Unfortunately, it broke, so I had to toss the whole fragrance, which is very, very sad. Uh, I do have a decant of it, so fortunately, you know, I can still smell it, uh, but I hope to get another bottle soon because I truly love this fragrance. This is a beautiful rosewood combination with some vanilla and patchouli. Absolutely beautiful blend here. Very smooth fragrance. It's very classy, very sophisticated. It is really not that different from all those high-end fragrances that I mentioned. If you love Rose d'Arabi, if you love Santal Royale by Guerlain, you're gonna love this one. And the price, guys, I'm not sure how much it is at the moment, but I remember I bought it two years ago for like $25 or so. Uh, so I don't think the price is that much higher these days. Uh, of course, I will link everything below, but Sir Ashela is just, I cannot. It's so beautiful, guys, and so long lasting. And what I must say about it, to me, comparing to other Swiss Arabian, which are very popular, like Shahav Oud, Sir Ashela is so much smoother, so much more so fish so much more so fish there's nothing sharp here it's so beautifully blended it is a smooth fragrance that just envelops you and you become an arabian princess so you don't really need to splurge on rose d'arabi which i actually truly love uh, or santal royale which i also really love santal royale is definitely more masculine leaning than rose d'arabi but to me sir Arshela is the most gorgeous middle ground between these two. So yes, instead of these, buy this one and thank me later. Quality wise, there is really like no comparison there. It's perfect. It's perfect. So yes, uh, for this price, you cannot beat it. Sa Ashela is beautiful with a beautiful bottle. All right, next, I just want to uh, breeze through a couple of fragrances that I discovered gorgeous alternatives for and I am mainly gonna speak about it because the originals of them have none none of longevity like they're so expensive and so not long lasting it's a joke so I have something for you that's going to be way better on lasting power of course it's way 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 cheaper the only difference is that it is in oil form and I have never been a fan of fragrance oils until now I tested I tried and I love it I love it and no I'm not sponsored to say anything about this brand I just got sent a package from them but you know it was just for my personal use to if anything say what I think about them but I am in love 
in love. So these are the fragrances that I really, really want in my collection. However, the original versions don't last, so it's not worth spending money on them. Uh, so the first one uh, is called Salt Water, and the brand is called Perfume Oil Expressions. And they come from Australia, and it is uh, a family-owned business, which is great. So yes, Salt Water is pretty much identical to wood, sage and sea salt from Jo Malone, which scent-wise, I love to bits. Like this is one of the best smells in the world, but it doesn't last. And this one is pretty much the same, maybe a little bit sweeter, like tiny, tiny bit sweeter, and it lasts forever. Such a good longevity. You get um, 10 milliliter of fragrance oil for $30 Australian. Uh, but I must say, I don't really think of it as a normal fragrance and it's just 10 mil. No, the fragrance oil will last you pretty much for years uh, if you use it normally along with other scents that you have. So yes, it's so, so worth it. The price is great. And I love it. I love this one. So salt water, buy it instead of wood sage and sea salt from Jo Malone, which is just a eau de cologne and it is a joke price wise. Next one that I have is from Byredo and it is another one that scent wise intoxicates me just as much as wood sage and sea salt. And this is called Gypsy Potion which you might already know, is a um, alternative to Byredo's Gypsy Water. Uh, this is incredible, guys. Absolutely incredible. Mm, those tiny foresty touches to it with a little bit of citrus, just perfect for summertime. And you know, guys, these perfume oils do not contain any alcohol. So it's actually perfect for summer because if you have sensitive skin, alcohol will trigger it. Let me tell you, I actually have very sensitive skin at the back of my neck, probably because I wear necklaces all the time and you know, the metal rubs all the time on my neck. And when I spray my fragrances right here, it burns as F, okay? It burns AF. Um, so I'm actually very happy to have a fragrance oil because now, I can potion my neck. Finally, I would not spray anything here on my neck, especially in summer, um, like normal fragrance. And perfume oil is fantastic. Uh, I pretty much rub myself with these all over, like all my pulse points, here where the hair is, um, just a little bit, because I do remove it, but you know, just a little bit of hair uh, on the hand, so you know, it's get into that area and it lasts longer. Also, I rub between my boobs. I don't care. I go ahead and I go wild. So yes, this is Gypsy Potion. So we have alternative to Gypsy Water. Buy this instead of Byredo, for sure, because Byredo doesn't last either. Ridiculous for that price. And last but not least, as much as I would say these two fragrances that I mentioned are pretty much just as good as the original, this one is hella better. So much better than the original, which is hard to achieve. And I am talking about alternative to Killian's Rolling in Love. And if you guys don't know, I adore this fragrance. It is a gorgeous, nutty, almondy, powdery, irisy fragrance with some ombrette. So beautiful, so beautiful. But again, it doesn't last. And this one is so much better. If you want more natty, if you want more sexy, you're gonna die. This is also from the same brand, Perfume Oil Expressions, and it is called Racing Heart. And to be frank, my heart races when I smell it because it's so incredible and so strong like so strong guys oh, it is so beautiful it almost makes me want to cry this is everything i want in a fragrance it's incredible again rolling in love can hide rolling in love can hide with 
her price, with her longevity and with her projection. Like, buy this. Racing hard, you need to get. You need to get it. And again, it is perfume oil, so it will last you forever. And the price is great. This is beautiful. This, I think, is my favorite from everything that I've tried from the brand. It is exquisite, just exquisite, immaculate, immaculate. So yes, that is Racing Heart. Buy Racing Heart instead of Rolling in Love, for sure. Now, the next one I'm not going to talk too much about because I've said enough on my channel about it, but I've never ever said buy this instead of that. So here we go. Tiziana Terenzi Kirke, okay? Beautiful fragrance, but very, very expensive. And my alternative is something that I truly have been loving for years now. It's so potent, such a compliment magnet, it's just everything. If you love that very heavy, ambery, fruity tonka scent. And that is Jasmine Wisp from Razazi. And easy as that, don't buy Kirke. It's so, so similar. And you know, it doesn't compromise on the longevity. It's so potent, guys extremely potent one it has coconut to it it has beautiful amber and tonka and passion fruit very very heavy on passion fruit just like kirke uh, and you know there's really no need to get kirke if you have this so if you love that dna get jasmine wisp and thank me later if you haven't gotten it already because i know that most of you already have it in your collections um, but if you still haven't try it just try it if you like kirke you have to have this one beautiful fragrance with middle eastern touches um that amber is very middle eastern like and it's musky mm, it's also very very sweet so yeah gorgeous one gorgeous one okay now i have as i said in the beginning i have a heavier fragrances but i must tell you about it because i will forget uh and i'm not gonna wait till winter Ugh. Uh, this is Killian's Angel Share, which I truly love. It's very long lasting, performs great. It has a gorgeous cognac note. It is very woody on my skin, but in general, indeed, it does smell like this apple pie, ambery fragrance that everyone refers to. Gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Uh, however, the price is very hectic. And I have something that is similar, very, very similar. Uh, when you count the milliliters per price, it is way cheaper. You get so much more product and to me it's way more feminine actually. And I am talking about Boucheron Ambre d'Alexandrie. It is, you know guys, it is one of my favorite fragrances of last year. It's such a gorgeous scent. This is very ambery, so you do have to like amber. It is also vanilla, it is tobacco. It's not as boozy and not as woody. It is a little bit smoother and more vanillic, but that's why I consider it to be more feminine and way more wearable. Uh, whenever I am thinking to grab Angel's share, I'm like, no, 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 you have this. And you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think I've used Angel's share once since I got this. Yeah. Do you, do you need anything more for me to say? Like truly, I haven't used it once since I got Boucheron. It's so good. It's just smoother, more wearable, also way more daytime appropriate because it's not as smoky and boozy. Uh, you, you just get more sweetness from it. But it's just beautiful. If I could, I would make my whole house myself and everyone around me uh, including a pet that I don't have unfortunately but if I did I would make everything and everyone smell like this it's that beautiful so yes um, that is Boucheron uh, get Boucheron instead of Angel Share I still love Angel Share don't get me wrong but this is better price wise and uh, also wearability wise so yes that is that what do we have next uh, one bottle I have the other one I don't so let's roll with it Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. I have all the Soleil Blanc, right? It is a little bit different than the EDP and oh, price-wise I would say it's still 
it still makes sense, right? Because it's way more affordable. And it's interesting because it's a little bit like piney slightly. I like it. Uh, with Soleil Blanc EDP, the original white bottle, um, the price is just like, come on, come on. And uh, to be fair, nothing is that extraordinary about the scent. These days we have so many scents that are alike, um, but I have found something that's super close to it, super close to it. The longevity is better in my opinion. Uh, and the projection actually also might be slightly better. I cannot compare because I do not have any decants of that Tom Ford left. Uh, but scent wise it's like 99% same to me even more interesting slightly and so much cheaper uh, this is bronze goddess nui and i read your comments as soon as i hold it uh, in my video um, that you do actually prefer it over tom ford and i completely agree uh, this again it's very very similar scent wise but there is something a little bit more interesting to it it's, it's just a step up from our old granny Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. Uh, it was released this year, uh, so I highly recommend getting it. I will, of course, link it below. Uh, it doesn't have a bad price at all. It's very, very reasonable for what it is. It lasts well, it performs beautifully, it's sexy, and you basically get that beautiful Santan Lotion coconut fragrance that most of us crave in summertime. So buy this instead of Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. All right, guys, next one. This one, it's heavy on my heart to say that there is an alternative that is just as good because I adore this fragrance and I think it's still very special. And no matter how many great alternatives there are, I would still want to have it in my collection. It doesn't matter, it's my favorite. And that is Inicio Atomic Rose. Beautiful fragrance, super strong. It's a rose with so many gorgeous facets to it, like amber, vanilla, hedione. Just to die for, just to die for. Similar to the Lina, but darker and deeper and more Middle Eastern. And for the longest time i was sure that there is nothing like it but there is a proper 99 percent dupe of it which is from juliana and this is Aphro aphrodite's kiss no sorry aphrodite's rose not a kiss it's a rose um and this one it's incredibly similar guys so if you really want atomic rose but you don't want to or cannot splurge on something so expensive, which let's be honest, it is ridiculous, especially these times, which are very difficult times for all of us. Uh, I think Aphrodite is gonna be great for you, great for you. Uh, I see that my fragrance is macerating nicely. When it came, it was completely transparent. Now it's getting some color and I'm sure that in a few months time, it's gonna be even darker. So this one, as I said, it's pretty much the same, uh, maybe slightly less sweet, uh, but other than that, yeah, it's pretty much the same, to be honest. Maybe it's just slightly less dense. It's not as thick to the point it's dripping, you know what I mean? But ugh, nevertheless, it's 99% the same. So again, I still very much recommend Inicio, but if you are on the budget, this is perfect, the most perfect alternative to it. So buy Aphrodite instead of Atomic Rose. I still love it though, just saying. Whew, okay, another Tom Ford, shall we? I have a couple of to Tom Ford's alternatives that you just need to try. So Tom Ford Lost Cherry, we all know the drill. It is ridiculous price-wise and it lasts for a second, then it's gone. And I have something that's not exactly the same, but it's just as great. This is a little bit more summer appropriate, more boozy, not as nutty, but nevertheless, the cherry there is the same. And that is wet cherry liquor from Boho Boko. I've shown it so many times already since I got it, 
but it is truly so good guys trust me it is so so good oh so it has a lot of booze to it like alcohol booze mm, like very dark deep alcohol booze okay like a liquor cherry liquor as the name suggests and it also has strawberry to it like a very ripe strawberry which makes it actually even more boozy in a good way like a fruity boozy fragrance that you have in here and you have some beautiful balsamic notes in here a lot of sweetness but not too too sweet to me this is gonna be perfect for summer amazing fragrance and it does last and it doesn't cost you much because um, as far as I've seen it's around hundred dollars hundred euros so it's not that bad comparing to lost cherry like come on come on guys so boho boko wet cherry liquor guys you have to have it this is not a dupe okay we're not talking about dupes like from uh, belayered and brands like that no this is a completely standalone fragrance that is absolutely gorgeous but this is a better and cheaper alternative to tom ford especially for summer because it is a little bit more um, fresh and a little bit more flirty and fun so still sophisticated but you just try it okay you just try it that's boho boko and another initio that i want to have a great alternative here for you it is initio rehab and i truly love this fragrance to me it's super unique i love it on myself even though the note structure is nothing that i would even touch or put on myself but when i tried it i was gone it's beautiful it's aromatic a little bit herbaceous balsamic woody fragrance with patchouli it's just incredible truly even though it's nothing that i go for it intoxicated me however i do have something that is quite similar it definitely gives me the vibe again not a jew but similar enough that you can at least get the vibe of initio and it's so cheap it's from zara and that is ebony wood and i didn't think much of it until i actually sprayed them together somewhere on my skin as i was working and testing and basically doing my job um, i sprayed them somewhere on me throughout the day one day and i was like this gives me rehab vibe like really it gives me rehab vibe it's just this aromatic calming woody fragrance uh, not too dense it actually to me is quite refreshing for a woody scent um, it is slightly sweet uh, a little bit herbaceous there are cloves in here uh, so yeah if you don't want to or cannot splurge on rehab i highly suggest getting ebony wood or especially for situations like i had that uh, rehab is something so new for you note wise that you're not sure how you're gonna feel in it get yourself ebony wood first and see how you work with such fragrances because the vibe is definitely similar here so yes get ebony wood instead of rehab and thank me later another tom ford okay and this is the last tom ford for this video i promise however you know many people love tom ford so i have good alternatives so tom ford neroli portofino neroli portofino aqua neroli portofino forte whichever you prefer i have something better and for a fraction of a price so th this is for all my citrus neroli slightly woody fragrances lovers with gorgeous vetiver like dry down you're gonna be in love super long lasting not expensive niche brand this is nilafa de nil and the fragrance is called jardins de la bergamote so the gardens of the bergamot and here we have the bergamot pettigrain lime neroli grapefruit musk ambroxan and vetiver straight up unisex just like neroli portofino range uh, but to me it's just not worth getting such an expensive fragrance 
if you have stuff like that. Um, the other one that I highly recommend getting instead of Neroli Portofino is from John Malone's range and it is called Amalfi Sunray. I don't have a full bottle. I have like a small sprayer, but I don't know where I put it, but it looks like this. Uh, Amalfi Sunray, also very similar to Neroli Portofino. However, I must say Jardin de la Bergamot is way more long lasting and it is just an impeccable quality here. You have beautiful ingredients, just the quality is better than Zara, okay? So that's why this is my main player here in this comparison. Yeah, just get it, thank me later, get this instead, Neroli Portofino, and uh, if you don't want to get this, get Zara Amalfi Sunray and you're good for summer and that is it. And last but not least, I wanted to mention it in my last video like it, but I didn't, so I'm going to do it now because I'll forget again. Um, we have Zerge of Lira from Casa Murati and this one that I have to show you is not really that less expensive. I mean it is, but still is expensive, but I think the uh, fragrance itself and its um, performance, it actually is better and it is so intoxicating uh, and that is Ex Idolo Love and Crime. You can get it on so many websites, of course I will link it. This one is to me very very similar to Lira from Zezhov, Casamorati. However, this one to me is way richer, less lemony, it's more like caramelly infused. There's more density to it. So if you want something slightly less lemon cake like, more like a proper rich spicy vanilla with orangey notes, uh, then Love and Crime from Ex Idola will be better for you and the longevity is incredible. I've worn it pretty much the whole winter and look how little I had to use to smell like this all day. So it really says a lot because you know I shower myself and with this I wouldn't be able to because it's that potent. So yes, that is Ex Idolo and that is it. Um, I'm done. I'm done, my voice is done. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you wanna see next on this channel. I highly appreciate that and see you in my next one. Bye.